Greetings fellow tank commanders. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you a game that I played in my Panzer S35 739F. But I'm just going to call it the Panzer S35. The game that I'm playing is a standard battle on Comorin with tier 3 as the top tier. For equipment I have a camouflage net, coated optics, and an enhanced gun laying drive. For consumables I have a small repair kit, small first aid kit, and a manual fire extinguisher. My ammunition loadout is 50 AP rounds, 32 APCR rounds, and 30 HE rounds. The crew that I'm using is from my Yag Panzer E100, and it is working on its 13th crew skill. When I'm top tier in the Panzer S35, I like to use it more as a heavy tank rather than a sniping medium tank. I find the armor to be quite reliable against most small caliber tanks like the ones we're fighting now. This is a great start to the game. I'm able to do some great damage on both of these tanks while only taking a little bit myself. With the high rate of fire and the great penetration on the Panzer S35, I tend to just auto lock and fire on both slightly armored tanks like the ones I've encountered so far. Wow, that was quite an exciting start. I was able to be involved in destroying three tanks. Now I'm going to continue with this momentum and push forward. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't detected before I moved since the artillery was locked on this area and there's usually snipers in the back here. There really isn't anyone else contesting this area now so I'm gonna claim one of these houses here. From what I was able to see of the tactical situation there's at least a few snipers in the back and the enemy has a strong right flank. Such a shame I forgot the marshmallows. I was able to spot out the artillery here He's 30 meters beyond this tank's view range, so I'm happy to have my coated optics and experienced crew in right now. I get greedy here and try to get the kill on the German tank destroyer. As a result, I take a bad shot from the SU-76 that's sniping. I'm able to return the shot, but I'm not willing to trade shots with this guy at the moment. Luckily for me, the enemies are spotted out on the western flank so I'm able to get some quick shots in there. I'm providing some covery fire here just in case the tank destroyer moving up spots out any enemy snipers. The center of the map on Comrin is such an effective place to fight, especially in the lower tiers when you're dealing with some less experienced people that will sit on the back of the maps thinking that they're safe and only focusing on one direction. It's a close game, but it seems like my team is perfectly fine on the west flank now, so I'm going to move my attention to the east and try to see if I can help out there. I was hoping to catch a few of the enemies skirting back to defend the base. I find a light tank sitting here near the water, and it's a perfect time to just farm up some more damage. Once again, we'll be able to see the reliable armor of the Panzer S-35. A few extra guest shots here, and I've now racked up my fifth kill. However, someone else besides the Panzer II G I was fighting is sniping me from farther back. Now I'm going to quickly reposition and hopefully catch whoever was sniping me off guard. Unfortunately, I can't spot him out, and I make the decision to fall back and defend the base. Now, one of my biggest fears in the Panzer S-35 is other Panzer S-35s. I usually just switch to APCR ammunition when I'm fighting them so that I can get some reliable damage. I don't hear, and as a result, I don't penetrate the first two shots, miss the third, but finally kill them on the fourth. But I took extra damage, which is very bad this stage in the game. This certainly wasn't the best way to dodge the SU-76 size shot, but I had a little bit of luck and it all paid off. At the time I was assuming the other Panzer S-35 in the platoon was still towards the base, but I wanted to try and keep my teammate alive if I could. Unfortunately I don't hit my shots here. That allows the light tank to spot them out for their sniping Panzer 35. So I'm now dealing with a half health Panzer S-35 while I am one shotable easily by him. So I'm trying to get some extra shots in before we uh, start trading shots. Unfortunately I miss all of those and I don't get lucky on this one either. So now I'm going to fall back and 
and try to get some free damage in on him by peeking out and back around this corner here. So one shot bounce, two went through, and I was able to dodge one of the shots, but unfortunately he won. It's a sad ending to a great game, but I was still able to pick up eight kills, which I'm really happy about. Now let's have a look at the post-game stats and see how I did. I had the Call Me Damage op on, which gave me 1500 extra experience, but without it I still would have earned 4200 experience, which is really good for a loss. I made almost 37,000 silver, which I'm happy with considering I use a few APCR shells, and that I lost. I got some good awards here, High Caliber, Mastery Badge, Cool Head, and Top Gun. I managed to destroy 8 tanks, get 1,417 damage, and 220 assisted damage while blocking 530. No surprise, I placed at the top of my team. I earned a base XP of 1,766. In the detailed report, we can see that I hit 34 of my 49 shots, and I penetrated 30 of those. I received 33 non-penetrating shots, which isn't as impressive as it sounds since there are so many weak caliber and black cannons at this lower tier. I was able to damage quite a few modules in this game, the engine on the T2 medium. On the Martyr 2, I was able to destroy the engine, damage the ammo rack, and the fuel tank, since I did set it on fire. I damaged the engine on the SU-76 the ammunition on the Panzer IIG, and I injured the driver on the Panzer S35, which I destroyed. Well, that's all for this game. It was a sad ending to a really awesome game. Make sure to stay tuned, because I'll be posting more awesome games like this in the future.